coming up on the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City after show. I am done. I've done my job today. And my thanks to everyone for coming. Whoa, you really are tone deaf. She's so mad that I'm friends with Lisa now. I wanted to get out of her path because I felt like she came with an intent to destroy whatever friendship we had. Your wife brought up rumors that Lisa cheated on me. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? I cleared this up already. Winnie had told me at her Wild Rose beauty party, they invited a gentleman that they thought I had had an affair with. He said, I hope you guys are better. Heather. And it felt callous and like a little bit of a cover your ass. No. Damn, I cannot trust this woman. Why does everyone get to lie about me, but when I tell the truth about myself, your feelings are hurt. Lisa's need to appear perfect will trump her friendships. She's got spray tans that are lasting longer than her friendships. <laughs> the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City After Show starts now. During choir practice, the conversation turns to the texts and tweets from Lisa around your father's memorial and the state of your relationship. Why would you take like something that's like very sensitive such as my dad's obituary and death and the text messages that I exchanged with you while my dad was dying, okay? And tweet that if you didn't want to go backward with me. It just felt unnecessary and it felt well, menacing. And, and we were on a social media ban. I mean, let's just be honest. We weren't, yeah. You're gonna break all the rules just to like rub my face in like, a 12 hour difference when he said, hope your dad's feeling better. My dad had passed and she texted me and said, I hope your dad's feeling better. No, I did not say After that. After he died? Yeah. He was on hospice. He wasn't feeling better. She wanted to prove to me and to the world that she had been there for me when my dad died. Lisa tweeted my dad's obituary as a way to like prove how great of a friend she is because she texted me when we brought my dad home from the hospital to die. Lisa texted me, I hope your dad's feeling better. I don't need her to be there for me. That's okay if she's not there for me, but don't claim it and then prove it. That's like you're, it just felt like a, a topic I did not want to bandy about and fight with her over. And it felt like, damn, I cannot like trust this woman. You know, we, we make gains and then we just go right back to basic. Why does everyone get to lie about me, but when I tell the truth about myself, your feelings are hurt, but I'm not allowed to have feelings. I'm not allowed to like care. I'm supposed to just put up with it and I'm done doing that. And I just felt like there's a lot of lies that Heather's told about me. Like I'm a mean girl. You cannot sit there and say you come out with love and kindness. I'm dismissive. Lisa just completely dismissed me. I knew her in college. How can you say, I, all I know of Heather is that she was the good time girl that flashed her boobs. Oh. And then this was just literally like the cherry on the top of that icing on the cake. And I was just like, I have to clear it up. I can't just keep taking it. So if you're gonna lie about me, I'm gonna come forward with the truth. And that's what I felt like I had to do. You said I was not there for you when your dad you died. Weren't. And I texted you when I found out he was in the hospital and I texted you the day he passed. And I should not have posted what was online. Listen, you're but, welcome to post, it's all public information. I don't want you to, to lie to about me. Want. Hey, if you wanna have a real friendship, we gotta stop with the bullshit lies. That's what it was about for me. Lisa's need to be a to appear perfect will trump her friendships. No, it's fine. You're it was not. To clear your it name, was, and your name is clear. And so I lied, like, and you're the best, and you're awesome, and your character is no. This is not how standing. it goes. Rather than having a moment of, you know what, I messed with your father's funeral. That was not okay. It was more important to her to appear to the fans and the audience innocent than it was to have a sensitivity bone towards Heather to make herself appear well is always gonna be more important than her friendships. And until she can understand that, her friendships are gonna keep dropping. I mean, she's got spray tans that are lasting longer than her friendships. <laughs> Whitney, you go to Heather's house to discuss an uncomfortable feeling you have in your friendship, but the conversation doesn't end well. She stormed off to her bedroom and I knocked on the door and she physically like pushed me to the door. I am done. I've done my job today, and my thanks to everyone for coming. The second time she's gotten physical. I'm accountable. We I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.
I'm choosing not to share what had happened to me as a kid, but physical abuse was definitely a part of it. And so that was so triggering to me of like, whoa, like you're, you, you really are tone deaf. I feel like she's obviously going through a lot. She is hurting. There was abuse in my family, but I just like stuffed it so deep that I blocked all memory of it. And I don't want to hurt her. I'm horrified by the way I acted in, you know, Arizona at the yelling and the just the screaming, like I hated that. And we remedied it almost immediately after. And in that moment, I wanted to get out of her path because I felt like she came with an intent to destroy whatever friendship we had. And I didn't want that. I wish I would have just pumped the brakes and believed her when she said I lost her forever. You lost me forever and that was the biggest okay. mistake in your life. Because I feel pathetic, like I'm chasing Heather down all the time. And it's reading as like, desperate or whatever, but I love Heather. And I felt like she was a friendship that was worth fighting for. We're friends and we can talk through hard things, right? Absolutely. And, and she's just dismissing me and minimizing me. She's not listening to me. She's not hearing me. Glad I had an event that you could show up for and like be a hero. And I it's am the asshole that has ignored you for two weeks. And I'm just trying to get to the bottom of like what's going on. Like, what I'm realizing now is as being gaslit, she's so good at when you're talking about one thing, she'll pull in a million other things to distract you from what you're confronting her about because she doesn't want to be confronted. She had a dance routine. Like that's someone that loves me, that doesn't feel distance, that is my friend, and that doesn't say, I couldn't even tell you my husband lost his job because you've been so sh But I wasn't backing down. Stop diminishing me, like either you're my friend or you're not. And in that moment, I started seeing, wait, this isn't just about Heather and I. She's so mad that I'm friends with Lisa now. We're not hearing Lisa's side of it. Like yeah, she's a, being not, accused Whitney, of being a liar. She is a liar. I don't want to sit here with you, my best friend and cousin, and have you sit on my couch and explain to me how I shouldn't be hurt by what Lisa did. I was like, oh, wait a second. You're not here because you like me and we love each other and you need support. You're here to defend Lisa? Like, this is, you have to understand, this is very weird for me. I mean, she has never come over and like decided she's gonna sit down on the couch and tell me how I deserve whatever I get from Lisa. I think she's got enough going on in her life that I am not going to tell her what I really think and feel, that she's sitting on my couch defending Lisa when she can't stand Lisa. <laughs> when did she have this like change of heart? We've all learned like funerals, father's deaths, family should be off limits, but Heather was lying about Lisa and Lisa wanted to prove it and she had the timestamp with that memorial. Um, I told Lisa I didn't like it. I felt like it was below the belt, but I do understand her need to feel like she needed to defend herself because she was being lied about. I wanted out. When I said to her in LA, my dad died and you texted me two days later. And that was a lie. And I did not want to be around her. I didn't want to film anything. I don't believe any of the words coming out of her mouth. So I took a cue from Meredith and disengaged, like physically wanted her to leave because I felt like every word was just going to damage our relationship further. And I didn't, I don't want to be in a fight with Whitney. The issue around your texts, tweets, and Heather's father's memorial has been a huge point of contention this season. She used her dad's death to lie about me. When we brought my dad home from the hospital to die, Lisa texted me, I hope your dad's feeling better. Oh my dad's person, did I not? Yes. No, I wasn't. I was yes. Can you help me better understand the circumstances and the timeline around those texts and those tweets? Um, so, you know, with Heather, what happened is Heather said at the reunion in LA that after her dad passed, I sent her a message saying, I hope your dad's feeling better. My dad had passed and she texted me and said, I hope your dad's feeling better. No, I did not say after that. After he died? Yeah. And in real time in LA, I was like, at the reunion, I was like, no, Heather, that's not right. Because I knew I was getting real time information from a very close friend of hers at the time. And... I was like, I would never do that. The girl who introduced me to Heather texted me and she said, Heather's father's not go doing well. I just wanted to let you know. 
So I sent Heather a text and said, hey, I'm so sorry. This is when her dad was going into the hospital. And I said, I'm so sorry to hear your dad's not feeling well. You know, like basically sending thoughts. I could read them. I have them on my phone. I could read them verbatim. And then two days later, calls me and says, hey, I just want you to know Heather's father just passed away. And so I sent Heather immediately a text saying, I'm so sorry to hear your dad passed. My thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. She hearted it, so I know she got it. And, you know, I didn't want to, like, like push myself on her, especially at such a sensitive time. But I was getting real-time updates from our mutual friend to make sure she was okay and to see if there was anything I could do. From what I recollect in L.A. a year ago, Heather made a comment about a text that she got from Lisa, which coincided with the passing of her father. Knowing what I went through with losing my father, knowing that how inundated you are with messages and whatever else, I think that the comment was made with the timeline a little bit off and Lisa corrected it on the spot in LA. When your father passed, I did send Heather, you a text message and, and a few express days later, but sorrow. While he, Heather acknowledged her correction at that moment. I'm just saying I understand. And it wasn't I, about I was there for Lisa. her. I was, I understand. I was it. there. So I understand why the tweet would feel a little over the top at mm -hmm. that point. And so then she started to make me second guess myself. And I'm like, well, maybe I messed up. So I went back and looked at my text messages. And then when that episode aired, instantly started my DMs. You're a bitch. You're a mean girl. This is what you do. You're a narcissist. I mean, like just crazy stuff. So I'm like, I'm just going to clear the air because, you know, if I really want a good friendship with Heather and I really want to move forward with her, we have to have no lies. To have her, you know, tweet that to clear her name and to hurt me felt like three steps backwards when we had really been making progress. And I had been weeping with Lisa in the snow. She had snowflakes on her lashes. She was saying she loved me, wanted to support me, wanted to come to choir. She went home and she tweeted my dad's obituary. Like, it was like, are you kidding me? So um, when I tweeted is like, you know, Heather and I were working on being in a better place. And look at, I wasn't like trying to cause a problem with Heather. I just wanted to move forward with her. I'm like, hey, let's clear it up and let's move on and don't do it again. <laughs>